What is up guys, it's Captain K and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 edition and today we're in the brand new Fly-By-Wire A380X and we are so excited to get, be able to get this uh, in our sim and uh, hopefully get up in the air soon as well. But today's episode is just going to be a quick uh, Thrustmaster A320 um, setup guide to make sure your throttle setup is going to work for your brand new Airbus A380. Um, it's a little bit trickier than what people um, are thinking, so let's uh, dive straight into it. But before we do dive into it um, a huge shout out to fly by wire as well this aircraft is free so make sure you go ahead and download it now you will need some space because it is a pretty big download uh, so highly recommend jumping on it at the moment it is only available for pc users and not xbox um, so if you are an xbox fan make sure you hit head over to fly by wire and let them know that you really want this for xbox and let's see if they can bring it to the xbox uh, system at all so let's jump into the flight deck and get things under roll Okay guys, so before we jump into calibrating all of this, what we need to do is make sure that you have not calibrated in the system your throttles yet because if you have it's going to muck it all up. So my recommendation is going into settings, sim options, calibrate and then you want to reset to default. Okay, this will ensure that you're not going to have any issues whatsoever. Now, second thing is, um, before we go into any of it, look how bloody fantastic this flight deck is. This is absolutely remarkable. Look at the stitching. It is sexy. Um, so I haven't really even gone through any of this yet. So I'm, gonna, I'm still learning how, how to do it all. All I've pretty much done is turn the batteries on, APU is on, and we are in the system ready to go so what we've done is we've got the thrustmaster a320 uh set up and obviously i'm normally using the fenix a320 so my configuration is done set up to as per their um their instructions so what we're going to want to do is first of all we head over to our um, menu and options go into controller options and then from there, you're going to probably see yours as, say, Fenix A320 or Thrustmaster TCA1. Go to a default, go to a default profile and just go to power management and then throttle. And then you're going to see um, probably your just your one and two throttles. And you may, if you, you may see some more, that's fine. If not, what you need to do is you go over to all and then you'll be able to see all your different types of throttles so for this instance obviously like what i was just saying just before is the throttle one access zero to 100 if you have that clear those same with your throttle access to zero to 100 clear them so there's nothing in there whatsoever so it just doesn't get messy what you want to get then do is go into your throttle one access and then you're going to want to select input and you just scroll down until you find left axis X, which is the top one of that one. So joystick left axis X. You're going to then scroll up a little bit and do the same one to your throttle two axis. So this is important for those two. So that means that your left throttle is now going to be connected to one and two. And then you're going to scroll up and you're gonna do the same for throttle three and four. So joystick L axis Y will do the second, your right hand throttle. So again, go into that one, select an input and you scroll down and you find Y. Don't do any of the Y, X uh, minus or plus or anything like that, just plain Y. So you can go ahead and push F11 once you have done those ones and that will save that. Once we've done that one, we are now gonna move on to our engine starters. So best way for this one is you can either, what I would recommend is you just 
Get your engine one and toggle it. And it comes up if you see it here. So if you can now, if you, an easier way I have found is if you, you leave it on, it will come up with all these. But if you go to off again, it will pull up all the ones that are assigned to that, um, that joystick button. So what, this is where it gets a little bit trickier because there's three buttons that you need to assign for that one joystick button, which is your um, engine one selector. So engine one selector will be working for your one and two engine and engine two on your Airbus Thrustmaster will be for three and four. Hopefully I still haven't lost to you guys and you're uh, following quite well there. So what you need to do is that you can either type this in as well. You can go set engine one fuel valve. That one you won't need to change because that's already set correctly from when you had your Fenix A320 um, configuration. Same with set starter one and set engine master one. So what you need to now do is you can either clear out of them and you can just type those ones in. So set engine, let's start at the top. So set engine two fuel valve and you want to make sure you select like we just, we did before with the other one, joystick button three. Okay. And then validate. And it will come up saying, this is a repeat of something else. That's fine. Override it. That's all good. Okay. Then you want to do the same with set starter two. Same again. Go select, enter, and it'll come up. This is used already used somewhere else. Do you want to bind it anyway? Yes. Validate. So clear, do that one. And then lastly, set engine master two button again, button three. Once you've done those ones, I would highly recommend save your progress and continue on to the next one. All right, let's do the engines number three and four now. So we do the same process. So I hit down, up and on, and then off again, and I'll pause up these ones. So you may find that it won't because you haven't set that one up because obviously one and two, we've just overridden two. So none of these may turn up. So you might have to manually type it in. So again, we're gonna be looking if you're unsure. If you're unsure, you just type in up the top here, set engine, and you can do three, and then a whole list will come up. So if we go set engine, if I take, get rid of that, set engine and a whole list will come up, which is fine. So what you're gonna do is set engine three, fuel valve button four, and set engine four button four as well. Again, just go down, drop, stick, drop down box and into that one. Then you're gonna wanna scroll down a little bit and then because we've done the fuel, we're now gonna do master. So we're gonna do um, three and four. So joystick button four, button four. And then we've got the last one, which is, and this is where I forgot last time. Set starter. So you'll need to type in set starter. Nope, I don't want to push that one. Set starter and you can see set starter three and four and you do the same process for that again. Once you've done that one, you now can push F11 and um, before we close out of this is another thing that I it took a little bit for me to work out because the next step of calibrating it in the FMC, it was a little bit of a nightmare. And once I read the manual, um, I understood what the assignment was. So with Fenex, you would have had a whole heap of sensitivity configuration to it all. So with this one, you need to make sure that your X and Y are all zeros. Every single one of them is all zeros, ever, obviously other than your reactivity, okay? You wanna make sure they're all zeros and then hit done. Then F11 and save out of that. 
So what we can now do is come over to your settings, sim object, calibrate. Now, the one thing that everyone is reporting is that you've got to work from top down. So toga, and then you can hit throttle, and then you go to the next one, which is flex, hit throttle, you gotta do it on both sides, then go down to climb, save, idle, again, save, and then re reverse idle. Now, some people get a little bit stuck with this one because obviously there's not really a reverse idle as such on the Thrustmaster A320. So I pretty much just lift the, the, the reverses up and just pull it back ever so slightly and that give me my new detent and I just hit set from throttle and then reverse full and then I just pull them all the way down with the reverses on and set that. If you have no errors, then you can go apply and save. If you are getting an error there, you may need to redo it again and just read it to make sure that none of these minuses are conflicting. Um, and that's where I found some issues before I had to make sure that my sensitivity was all zeroed out. All right, so apply and save and we are pretty much all set up ready to go whoops so if you come over to here now the one thing that isn't model jet is obviously the reverses so if you go into it it hasn't been hasn't been um, modeled yet so that's in op but that's okay we got to climb we got to flex and we got to toga and idle um, again engines one and two and engines three and four bam we are done that aircraft is now fully set up and you can now finally make your way to your very first flight. Hopefully this uh, little quick uh, tutorial has helped you guys. And if it has, please make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to share with your friends and uh, stay tuned for our upcoming video of our next flight. Again, my name is Captain K and hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. Until next time, peace.